Good morning, Jen. A lot of work goes behind putting these shows on, but really quickly, we're inside this museum. It's beautiful. It's a hidden gem here. Didn't even realize it was here. So many different collections. Check this one out. Representation of Southeast Asia, just one of the many exhibits here. But as you mentioned, it's hard workers. There's people who kind of the show doesn't happen unless we have guys like Steven and Michael here. They are puppet actors. Thank you so much for being here with us today. I think we just need to get into it. What goes into puppetry and just putting these shows on together? Well, actually, uh, when, you, when we first started puppetry, you think it's a lot easier than it actually is. Mm -hmm. It requires a lot of subtlety uh, that you can't quite discover until you actually take the puppets in your hand yourself. Because if you take them and you just do a lot of jiggling and nothing's very very specific it doesn't look quite good but a couple of subtle moves and this is this is sleeping beauty no. we have here this right is sleeping beauty she's wide awake because she's always up for channel 7 news <laughs> that's obvious but <laughs> when she runs into the witch she can get very very sleepy <laughs> and let's talk to we have gretchen over here michael is the, the art in the mind behind gretchen michael kind of just talk about how much time and practice goes into mastering i know gretchen was dancing not too long ago uh lots of hours of uh time practice uh and um at being an actor uh what we do is we live with intent and purpose uh uh through ourselves and into the uh actors they're not actually puppets because living with purpose and uh, intent allows them to come to life uh, as I was stating earlier I like to make Gretchen dance after she's been cleaning the castle for a long day I like to give her the foot loose the old Kevin Bacon you said uh, she had bad knees though yeah she's yeah and that's why she's got a waddle you know <laughs> So she's got bad hips and knees, but she's been clean, cleaning the castle for a while. I have but to she's got a good spirit. You know, and so we love that. Crazy. We need a good spirit. Yeah. I have to ask you, Stephen, talk about, do you get nervous before a performance, just knowing that everything is kind of relied on you and your finger work and everything that goes behind it? Well, I always have nervous no matter what we're doing, any kind of performance, just because you know it's live and in the moment. But um, we put in so much good practice, and we've had so much help from our directors here who know what they're doing that we have a plan that we go forward with and we just try and execute it right Michael how do you master this with patience lots of patience lots of time uh, attention to detail uh, listening to our director uh, Igor who's been doing this for 30 years and how he studied it in Moscow and brought it back over to the United States and especially here in Detroit so a lot of attention to detail uh, a lot of patience because it takes time to work the toggle uh, there are essentially four strings that control the head, uh, two for the legs, two for the arms, two for the shoulders, two for the hips, a butt string, and a artistic string, which allows her to kneel and do extra expressions, right. just like a real human body. And I have to ask really quickly, does your hands, does it hurt? Does it ever get, like, do you Absolutely. need a break? Absolutely. All the time. All yeah. Right. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much. Um, I'm going to chat with Jen back in the studio, but I would love for our viewers to, you know, get a better look and allow you guys to, like, actually work without trying to work and talk to me at the same time. But, Jen, I mean, how amazing this hard work that goes into it. You know, we only really see uh, the puppets, the actors, you know, because the puppets are actors as well during the shows, but we don't even realize sometimes the the great people behind it, the puppet actors. So I think it was amazing that we got a chance to speak with them and just kind of hear the hard work that goes into putting on these live shows. Absolutely, and Nana, I was gonna ask them the same thing, like your hands have got to get tired. I mean, that's a lot of work making those puppets move. And Nana, you mentioned that there may be some puppets there from your home country in Ghana. Have you been able to see them? I haven't been able to see them, but we will try and take a look at them, and I'm going to, you know, practice my hand at it and see if I can do a little something for you guys. But um, I'm definitely going to check that out. And I just, again, love the fact that it's incorporating puppets from around the world and right here in Detroit. So that's amazing. Yeah, it's great that that's just in our own backyard. Nana, thank you so much. We'll check back in with you.